the one mistake you should never make in a terminal is where your hive is but i'm risking it today let's see if i get stopped and away we go i'm late <laughs> today there's two things on the agenda today's a learning day I've recently started a new role as a system specialist for the aerodrome. Today, I'm on a mission to try and understand two of these systems. First, in the morning, I've got a training for stand entry guidance as part of the team. And then, later on, I want to go out in the field and I want to try and understand our AGL system. AGL stands for Aircraft Ground Lighting. I really want to get my head around it. So this is the view from the office. We've got planes. Control tower. Hey, you're right, Paul. I did. All right. So I just finished my training for the SEGS. SEGS are stand entry guidance. They're these machines. This one's fully opened up. And I'm going to walk you through how one of these things work. When a pilot pulls in to a gate, this machine tells him or her where to park, go left, go right, stop. All the information they need to know so they can park a plane comes out of this box. And I'm going to show you how it works from my limited understanding from my training today. This is the test rig. This is where we come to learn how these things work. And we also have a uh, center line or a fake center line so that we can actually do these tests because this machine always looks for a line and it, it references that line to know where the plane needs to park. You'll find the exact same line or a very similar line actually on the ground on the apron and that's where the pilot has to try and aim for when they're coming into the gate. So this right here, you can see there's two mirrors and there is a laser box out of here. So you get lasers that come out of there. These lasers bounce off this mirror and then that mirror bounces the lasers off that mirror. Well, depending on what aeroplane there is, these mirrors will have to readjust themselves so that they can actually see the aircraft. And then that comes out of this glass panel right here. Information that comes out of this laser panel looks for a few things. It looks for the nose of the aircraft, so the actual tip of the nose. It looks for the size of the tires on the front of the aircraft and it also looks for the engines. So those are the three pieces of information that it will scan for and it will look for when detecting what aircraft is coming into stand. And then you see the motherboard up there at the top, that's the brains that's calculating exactly how long left before the pilot has to stop. And I'm gonna show you uh, what it looks like when we do a walking test. And a walking test is basically when, rather than an aircraft coming in, you walk and it will tell you stop, go left, go right, uh, and it would pretend you're a plane and it just makes sure that the sensors are working correctly. We should close it up and let me show you how we do a walking test. Right, we're about to do a walk test. So I start here. Uh, and then as I'm walking. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ah, yeah. The first one is you want to start walking on the center line, let's detect you, walk off it, walk off it. So, yeah. It's, it's like the moment I move, even like tiny bit, it tells you straight away. And bang, stop. Yeah, that's what I spent this morning doing. This afternoon, I'm going to be in the control tower. I'm going to be learning about the airfield ground lighting. We're doing a project on the runway where we have to actually reconfigure some of the lights so that um, aircraft don't go into places where there's works happening. So we're going to be checking that out. I'm going to be in the control tower. First, I'm going to have a quick lunch and then I'm going to go to the control tower. You kidding me? You kidding me, right? So I have a meeting here now at the 
control tower. But coffee first. Coffee is life. A yawn is a silent scream. For coffee, when I hear a joke. meeting talking about the airfield ground lighting I thought I'd just step outside to show you guys the view oh yes we're well, sat right in the base of the control tower and look at that it's a long way up so I just left what we call the ID center at Heathrow because of my new role I had to get a new pass with my new um, drop tile on it. Got my new pass. Now, time to continue with the day. Gonna go grab some lunch because I didn't have a chance to grab some lunch earlier. Might go to Terminal 2. There's a pasta and a pret there. We'll see what we can grab. Time to grab some food. Come to Terminal 2 today, grab a quick meal, and then back to the control tower. Terminal 2 was the first ever terminal that I worked in, so I have some fond memories. Down there is the uh, engineering base. Now they say that the one mistake you should never make in a terminal is where your hive is. A hive is is like the one way to get asked questions in a terminal, but I'm risking it today. <laughs> Let's see if I get stopped. Alright, so I'm just waiting for them to get my toasty. The order for the Costa coffee, oat milk with hazelnut syrup in there. That is a winning combination. You can't get anything better. This is the crazy part about working at the airport. People are traveling, people are going places, and I'm just grabbing lunch. So one of my friends from university got a job at Heathrow now as well. Um, for a company oh called Ferrovial and his offices are just over here. This is like his first or second week on the job. So I thought I'll grab my lunch and I'll catch up with him, see how he's been doing. Uh, it's always nice seeing your university friends that now got jobs at the airport and you get to spend lunch time with them and uh, yeah, work, work with them probably in the future on projects and stuff. And it just goes to show you, you know, you never know who might be your colleague in the future one day. So be nice to everyone. Oh, so we just finished, had a coffee. This is the guy I was telling you about, one of my friends from Bruno, uh, who works for Ferrovio, one of our contractors at Heathrow Airport. We just had a little catch up, and now we're going back to work. We're back to the office. For today, Let's see, planes getting pushed back. Virgin landed behind me that way. Got a Turkish Airlines that way. Time to try and get into the office. I haven't got a pass here, so I have to make a few phone calls. Two hours later, and that is the end of that. Time to go home. Um, it's been a good day. Today started off getting training on the stand entry guidance system that went to the control tower learned all about this AGL system and the control system now my phone wow broke my phone what a way to end the day that was a day in the life of a system specialist at Heathrow Airport hope you enjoyed that and uh, if you like these if you want to see more of these sort of vlog videos where I'm showing you what a day in the life of an engineer at Heathrow Airport is like, then like, comment, tag, share. Anyone who wants to be an engineer at Heathrow Airport, this is potentially what your day could look like. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. I like doing these vlog things, so I'm probably gonna be doing more of them. See you later.